Taking you on a trip down memory lane. But it's very recent actually. <laughs> I walked here last year and something scary happened.
what's here? What's here? I'm going to show you exactly where it was. What happened? Where that was. Oh my gosh. Looks like the fence is locked. That would be really weird.
is this uh, car just standing there? Why? So I thought, I thought I'm not gonna be the hero and stay here and be stubborn and have thoughts like nobody's going to chase me away and I'm not scared and I'm nobody can make me go away. I thought, no, I'm just gonna be safe. That's all that counts. It's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, it's a cliche, but it's so true in these kind of circumstances. So, I packed my stuff, like, really, really fast. And I uh, put everything in my bike's bags and I walked back onto that path that you see and that we just walked on. And I walked back and I cycled. I started cycling really fast, as fast as I, I think as fast as I could. And I noticed the car standing and I was cycling towards the car, of course, because I couldn't get away from here unless I first cycled towards the car and make a left turn. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, wait. So I went back to this concrete little Thank you. 
arms with a rope that I had to cut in half. And I luckily I had my children's scissors with me to make a video with, maybe today. The children's scissors that you saw in the TV guide with the video. So now we're on the second half of the path and if we look before us, in front of us, that's the little concrete path that we were just on. Oh, I have to follow my story, so I went through the fence that wasn't locked.
the sky is so blue, it's such a beautiful Easter. So we're approaching the dike, where you see all those trees that's uh, on the other side of the dike. There's a river. Where is that plane? I see it. I tried to zoom in, but uh, I couldn't even see it on the screen, so... I just wanted to say that um, I'm in nature quite a lot. of some girl that's supposed to be scared. Hmm, right. In my book, um, video, she'd be way more scared. If only I had my way. Apropos, more scared. I'll work on that after this video. Hmm, yes. Lucifer Morningstar may very well become Lucifer Morning Satyr after I do as I please, and I always do. <laughs> For those of you who haven't figured it out yet, my name is Lucifer, also known as the Almighty One, might also know me as the Lord of Wickedness, the hedonist enjoyer of all earthly hellish cruelty, his royal badness, the anti-god, the master of dark matter, or just boss to them earthly simple souls. No, I'm here to tell you that I shan't have it. I repeat, I shan't have it. 
that some girl from a teeny tiny country thinks she can be the spotlight in some silly ASMR video. She thinks she can sing. Well, let me tell you, I am the next star. Dark star, of course. The one, the only, that can sing. Not that blonde from the country of all-time lows. I may even do a silly, silly dance if I get to it. <laughs> what bothers me most about this video? It's way too light. It's darkness, I prefer. It's darkness I need. So, dark it shall be. This girl asked me to be in her video. But I won't do it. I won't. I shan't. No one puts me in the light. I say no to the one. I'll have a little talk with her after this video ends. So, if you never hear from her again, let's just say that I, the boss, took care of business. <laughs> Is it weird that I have the song Hello Earth from Kate Bush in my head? Hello Earth. Hello Earth. It is such a beautiful song. I wanted to sing it on small, but um, it wasn't available on small. I did sing some other songs of her on small. She's just fantastic. Oh, these are nice crispy sounds going over the branches.
do this with one hand and the bike in the way. It's working, it's working. Thanks a lot. Right. So Right now. <gasps> 